Hello and welcome to another set of examples. And this is from chapter six, representation of Boolean functions from CSE 259. In this, we will look at formulas, truth tables, and binary decision diagrams or binary decision trees. And we will see how to convert a truth table into the binary decision diagram or the formula. Uh, so we will look at an example and see how we can go about doing it. Well, it says, uh, construct a binary decision diagram for five such that the root is an P node followed by Q and then R nodes from the below truth table. So we have a truth table given to us, P, Q, R and phi, and we have to draw the binary decision diagram. Uh, so we first represent P because that's what is given to us. And then we look at from P, if I take a true, what happens? We go to a Q. Do we also go to a Q when we take false? So it goes to a Q here on true. And on false, again, we get, go to Q here. So we represent uh, zero or false by uh, dash and uh, a one or a true with uh, a line. So that's called a high and a low. So this is uh, what we see for Q, then from Q to R. So on truth, we see a true and also from false, we see a true. So from here, we get R, R, So these two are when we have uh, this set, uh, P is false and then Q is true. We go to R and Q is false, we go to R. Uh, so that's, that's what it is. Now the last set is when we have the values for five. So true, 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 to false, false and false. So we'll start from here. True, true goes to true. The next one goes to false. So on a dashed line goes to false. The next R is true goes to false. On a false, again, it goes to false. The next one on a true goes to a true. On a false goes to a false. On a true goes to a true, and on a false, it goes to a false. So this is the binary decision tree for the formula phi. So if you see this, this is the topmost line to the bottommost line uh, from right to left. So this is the binary decision tree and it's simple to draw. Now let's look at how do we draw the write the formula for the given truth table? So we want to write a formula for phi. So for this, we consider all the values where phi is true. So this, this, and this. So we have three values where phi is true. So let's start with the first one, which is P, Q, and R, all are true. So we have P and Q and R are true. The next one says P is false, Q is true, and R is true. So plus P is false, Q is true, and R is true. And the last one says P is false, Q is false, and R is true. So P is false, Q is false, and R is true. So this is the starting point for writing our formula. Then we see that you know R is common, taking it out, you get P times Q plus P times P bar Q plus P bar Q bar times R. And we also can take out uh, the Q common here. So Q times P plus P bar plus P bar Q bar times R. 
Now this is uh, P or P bar. Uh, so this is always true. So we can remove that and this will become equal to Q plus P bar times Q bar times R. Remember the dots represent and and the plus represents R. Uh, so we have Q or not P and not Q and R. So this is the representation of the formula. Uh, if you are looking at writing it with the, with the logical operators, then uh, it is same as saying Q or not P and not Q and R. So this is the formula or this is the formula. These are two ways of uh, writing out the formula. Uh, well, you know how to convert this into a CNF from chapter one. Uh, so I will not get into the details of doing it over here, uh, but that you can refer to from chapter one. And for more examples on this, uh, look at uh, the chapter six and the videos provided to you in chapter six. Thank you.